Hi, I'm Marlon Walker, and I'm live from Pelham's Wasteland, and today I am doing another episode of March Character Creation Madness, this time with the game Five Torches Deep, which is a neat game that uh, is designed to blend a sort of OSR spirit with uh, um, 5e, so it's kind of a, a blend of the two genre-wise and all that sort of stuff, and so, um, yeah, that is uh, uh, what it is designed to do. So this is sort of the primer on it, how stuff works. Um, the core mechanic is pretty straightforward. It's just a um, D20 plus modifiers versus a difficulty class. The default DC is 11 rather than 10, so it's a perfect 50-50 if you have no modifiers. Um, all right, and then we go to player characters. So, um, we are going to be a human, and we are going to roll 3d6 in order for all of our um, stats. So, slash r6, that is a 12 for strength. 12 out of 12. Then uh, dexterity, 16. That's really good for a uh, 3d6 roll. An 8 for constitution. A 9 for intelligence. A 13 for wisdom. And a seven for charisma. All right, I think we will leave all of this the way it is. This is, you know, we've got uh, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one, minus two, and plus three. So, uh, yeah, I think that is, um, Yeah, that is it. There are only four races, humans, dwarves, elves, and halflings. And there are only four classes, warriors, thieves, zealots, and mages. But one of the cool things about this game is that every class has a set of archetypes. And the archetypes basically define um, how things work in terms of stuff like barbarians or rangers, right? So the warrior class has a barbarian archetype and a ranger archetype that add um, proficiency, special abilities that sort of work like those um, classes. So I think we will be a thief with our high dexterity. And we do not have an archetype yet. Um, we will probably just be a um rogue character at some point um but oh man it filled out all of this stuff for us that's pretty cool armor light shields weapons all all right what do we get light armor so we'll switch that over our hit points is four plus con modifier on is negative one so that's gonna be a um three hit points one ranged weapon. Ammunition, one load. Ammo. One supply. Zero. Good. Supply two one e kit beef skit Ration five uses 
five supply to fill. Five rolls on sundries. Max supply. One load per five. So our supply is nine out of nine. Our retainer is zero. Our max items are zero. Um, our resilience is, um, I don't know. I guess it's probably eight out of eight. Oh, that's an arcane check. But we don't do arcane stuff. We do a perception test. 19. We rolled an eight. One. Um, all right. Let's do a light armor. 12 plus dex load. Got it calculated already. That's nice. Weighs two. 12 plus dex mod weighs load. Not start with a shield. So we just have our ranged weapons. Um, have. Uh, proficient weapon simple. So, so that is going to be proficient to dexterity. Hit bonus zero damage. It's going to be one d eight for our simple ranged weapon dexterity. We are proficient. With our bow. It's probably a short bow. Let's try an attack scene. 20 plus bonus, yeah. 8 plus 3. Hmm. All right. Um, our two load short bow. Why it doesn't get applied? That up to the top. All right. What else? Weapon damage. Two. That. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know why it's rolling an extra 1d1. But anyway, example weapons. Um, that's a war bow versus hunting bow. That's what they call it. We're going to call it a short bow. It's two handed, simple, ranged, piercing. Uh, what Pearson does. Anyway, all right, supply. Supply. Supply is a really cool uh, system. Um, basically, the way that supply works is it allows you to carry more kind of miscellaneous gear on your person and decide what it is as you go. So supply means that if you're carrying, for instance, torches, you can just say, oh, I was actually carrying more torches than I thought. Um, and so I don't have to you know, plan out all of that and stuff. Anyway, it's a really cool system. There's some really clever. Where is the sundry items table? I think it's said. Page 47. Seven sundries table. Um, five rolls for one D slash R five D twenty. We have a nineteen and a nineteen roll of raw wool. Raw wool. 
We have a 17, which is a fishing net. We have a seven, a small barrel, and a 10 bandages. Say so five uses of bandages. Rolls, that's two, one, one, one. Our load up to 12 out of 12. All right. I assume that that is what uh, this stuff, and obviously, if we went into the dungeon, we'd probably just drop off some of this stuff um, that we don't really need. Um, the small barrels and the fishing nets and things like that. Um, but yeah, that is uh, five torches deep. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you use the 3d6 down the line to roll up your stats. You have um, the sheet works really well. It, it you know determines almost everything for you if you put in the right information. Um, so yeah, um, it's a really cool game, a blend of OSR and 5e. There's some really clever stuff about it. Um, like I, I really like the way they do monsters is that for monsters, they sort of say, well, what's the monster's role within the dungeon? Is it a, um, you know, a leader versus a fighter versus a worker, that sort of thing. Um, which gives you a good way to differentiate different types of monsters while using sort of the same basic stuff, if that makes sense. Um, and I really like the supply system. The supply system is really cool. Um, it gives a good way to um, to outfit your your character and um, have you know you've got sort of extra stuff and and you can always find you can't. So the way supply system works in Five Torches Deep, you can't create something that you didn't start with, but you can use supply to refill something. So, for instance, if you don't, like, our character right now doesn't have any torches, so we couldn't just say, oh, I'm going to use supply to create torches. But you can, if you start with torches, say, I'm going to use supply to say that I brought extra torches, more than I had at first. And that basically represents the idea that supply is sort of your adventurer's preparedness um, coming into play. That, that they're a professional adventurer, you're not, so they know better than you do what they need to um, bring anyway which is a cool a cool system i think um it and it works um pretty well and it's yeah it's pretty neat um so yeah that is uh five torches deep uh we need a name for our character what is our character's name going to be they are going to be um Dirkin, Dirkin, the uh, five torches deep thief. All right, that is our character, zero XP, a level one human thief who um, is ready to go out adventuring. And obviously it didn't take very long at all to put together. I mean, I spent a fair bit of time explaining stuff and just filling out the sheet. So um, pretty easy to, you know, kind of that OSR feel where you can just write up a new character um, easily if you um do so um yeah pretty cool pretty cool stuff all right um let's go back to the splash screen and i will end as i always do by saying i've been arlen walker i've been live from pelham's wasteland and i will see you next time take care everybody